GIS enabling a smarter world. You and I are living in a world which is evolving rapidly. This world is undergoing a massive digital transformation. Like Craig said, with Twitter feeds coming in, we're now aware of things that we were not able to know before. The world is being wired up with, with, with everything. The Internet of Things promises to measure virtually everything that changes and moves in real time, connected to the web with enormous amounts of data becoming available for our use and disposal. What do we do with all of this data? That's an interesting question. What does it mean? How will we go forward in this wired planet? GIS and mapping. They're becoming essential elements, a kind of fundamental language. And understanding precedes action. This language is providing us all the rich content of our world and will continue to be the framework in the future. But it also is a language providing, providing us context of the world so that we see the context of of the, of, of, of the way things are. And your work is the evidence of that. And it's about everything. And it's not just about everything, but all of the interrelationships of everything, the interconnectedness of it. You and I are living in a world which is increasingly challenged. The evidence is, is very clear, even from your own work, in climate change, in loss of nature, in loss of biodiversity, in the web of all of these things creating social conflict. The evidence is clear that our current path is not sustainable. It's a serious statement and not one that I feel comfortable in acknowledging very often. We need to be smarter, ladies and gentlemen. We need to do everything we can. We need to muscle all of the best science all of the best technology, all of our best thinking, all of our best design thinking, all of our best strategizing. And we need, to, we need to understand, and we also need to act together, collaborate to turn this around. GIS, your profession, your technology, provides the framework and the process for creating such a smarter world. It brings together all the data. It integrates the data. It manages the data. It brings it into an abstraction that people can understand, an abstraction that can be easily visualized and inform the world. And the story maps are examples of it. It's a framework that allows you to analyze the relationships between phenomena and model them and create understanding. It's a framework within which we can design and plan for the future. The geodesign philosophy initiated by Carl Steinitz and others. Plan the future, understand the consequences, and then take it to decision makers who implement these actions and understand them and, and take it to action in, in real life. GIS itself, and here I'll talk about the technology aspect, is getting smarter. The technology is not enough, but it's worth acknowledging that the GIS is getting smarter. It's integrating and leveraging so many new tools. Faster computing, of course. More remote sensing, more data collection, more types of data are being integrated into it. And also integrated into it are more advanced tools for, for analysis of this very large data set. Looking at not only 2D and 3D, but also space-time analysis to give us insights to what the future may hold if we do this or we do that. This is about making GIS your platform smarter, implemented in the WebGIS pattern. This will help our organizations work smarter, for us to be smarter, to us, for us to be more conscious of what we're up to. What do we mean by smart GIS? It's a variety of things, actually. 
but one element is being able to connect to this real-time information, the Internet of Things as it emerges, and also remote sensing, measuring the built environment, measuring changes in the natural environment. SmartJS is also about connecting everyone, creating a system of engagement between people and their organizations, providing context so that we understand as communities what's going on. And GIS and maps are the common language that brings us together. They help us communicate. They help us understand. And they will help us act. GIS embeds advanced analytics and visualization. This is nothing new to you guys. You know it. Analytics, spatial analysis, geoprocessing have been the heart and soul of GIS for a long time. But what's integrating in now is the ability to deal with very, very large data sets and do analytics to create insights and also new tools that you'll be seeing today that allow us to explore and understand better these patterns and create insights faster. SmartGS, in fact, is about integrating everything, connecting people and processes and things and all the data about them. This means integrating our systems of record, like the record keeping, like cadastral or parcel data or, or, or streets or, you know, all the records with systems of engagement, which are individual identities with privileges, apps with systems of insight that allow us to analyze and work with this data. And in fact, the WebGIS pattern brings these three together in a single platform. Very unusual, actually. This will help by bringing the parts of the organization together, help organizations understand increasingly in real time, be aware, be alert, be responsive. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what we need in our organizations. We need to break down the barriers, connect it, bring it all together.